Here we are back in 1000 AD and it's time to go on trial. Here's our lawyer, Pierre. We're going to have a talk with him once we have the pendant and submit ourselves to trial. This is going to be a very abbreviated trial. Unlawful possession of the royal treasury, that of course being the pendant. Your lead character is the one who goes on trial, whoever that may be. So whoever you want to do uh, the whole jailbreak sequence with, make sure you pick that character. Bringing in the witness. And uh, he makes a very compelling argument. Here comes the verdict. The RNG has been pretty well removed. You're going to be found guilty. Which is faster than being found not guilty. Speedrunners everywhere will be happy about being found guilty. space to stand on that side. The rare 100% guilty. That is RNG. Take him away. Very rude. Because we were found guilty, we skip a couple text boxes here. Actually, we skip a lot of text boxes here because uh, he did produce these. I'm going to be way above the recommended level for this. You almost inevitably will be. You just about have to start with the pendant to be a low level for this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the Berserker on. The reason being, for these guards, any of them that I may fight, it'll be faster. Berserker not only makes the inputs automatic, but... It increases both your attack and defense. We'll be able to hit these plenty hard, but... Uh... Again, it, it just... Mainly it's to cut the input time is why I'm putting the Berserker on. Now, personally, I take a minimalist approach to the treasures here. I'm not going to climb the side of the wall to uh, get to that room. But there's a bunch over here. We can punch that guard's lights out. Unfortunately, no tonic for him. Mini boss. He's immune to magic. All you gotta do is punch him. And we can punch things quite well. With that, he runs away. Our 
Alright, I'm going to save here and try and do this right. So you can run right up the middle of these two. I'm going to try and line up like that. Perfect. This side won't get you to anything. This one's unavoidable. what I have the Berserker on for, just to speed these up. See, they didn't get an attack on me because I was so much faster. So it's funny to see Robo run. Alright, now these guys. Um, how to describe these guys? They have a limited sight range. Okay, so that's the trigger. It's right there is fine. He moved. Uh, their movement's a little RNG. Actually, it's a lot RNG. This guy in particular is a jerk. Trying to wait till the moment he turns, but... Okay. There we got behind him. And they're a source of mid-tonics for free. If you want to be a nice guy and say Fritz, there he is. As long as you punch those guards from behind, they will knock out and you don't get a fight. Otherwise, you will get a fight. Okay, this is an avoidable encounter. Just leave the box up and walk out of the room. This is the easiest guard to uh, tell his sight line because all you gotta do is stand in that shadow. And a mid time. Hey, okay, I'm gonna forgo the uh, climbing to the side of the castle because I don't think the treasures here are worth it. That's me personally. You can go for them if you'd like by going to the left there. This is how we escape. I went for the higher concentration of treasures, plus Fritz gives me something extra. I'm actually lobbying for Fritz to give a good non-key item. And we learn laser spin. That's fantastic. Can go ahead and take the berserker off now. And I'm gonna put his ribbon on, since that's pretty much his best accessory, unless you're doing a mega flare. Now this is not a character join spot. This is a rejoin spot. So here's Marley and Ayla coming back. And five more mid-tonics. So we've got a pretty decent stock of those now. Health is good. We're going to save. Move on to the boss. And in place of the dragon tank, we have... actually going to be Dalton Plus. So he does his opposite element attack. If we hit him with ice, he'd hit everybody with fire. If we hit him with fire, he'd hit everybody with ice. Dark, he'd do lightning. Lightning, he'd do dark. And he takes everybody's HP down by half. No robo tackle yet, so we'll rocket punch him. Not a lot to be afraid of with Dalton Plus as long as you're not using elements. Although in other spots you'd want to anyways for more damage. You 
can see Robo is glowing green. That's uh, indicating that he's getting the benefits of the ribbon. It gives him both uh, shield and barrier. It also gives you sight scope, by the way. Built-in sight effect. And that's going to be good for beating Dalton Plus. Go Gollum Boss! We actually haven't fought yet, so... See you, Dalton! Let's see. No, Robo Cross. Dalton Plus is defeated. Just run across without talking to him. You're gonna automatically trigger these guards. There is a skip that you could do in a vanilla speed run, but it doesn't apply here. You get a much better skip instead by cutting out a bunch of that. Into the portal. Welcome to the future, with the Epoch on hand. 